Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Ingram Jones, and I have with me a very, very, very well-known face and name. Hasn't fought for a while, but has a fight coming up. No, the man is Eddie Chambers. Eddie, how are you doing? I'm good, my man. I'm really, I'm really good. I'm excited to get back into the ring. Kind of. <laughs> I'm the only, I think fighters are crazy because they're excited to get beat up again. I mean, I don't know why. But it's just, you know, <laughs> so, um, like I said, I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> so, so when 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 do you get back in the ring? Uh, September 18th. September 18th, and this is confirmed, right? Yeah, yeah, everything. And where, is, where, is where, where are you fighting? It's in Atlantic City. Okay. Uh, and I, I, you know, for some reason, I can never remember the name of the venue. But uh, it's, uh, it's supposed to be a very nice venue, but it's more, more, an, more intimate type venue. Nothing really, really, really huge or anything, but still, uh, still a good card. Okay. So it's a PBC thing then? PBC? Um, no, I don't think so. I, no, no, it's, um, uh, I can't remember. I think it's, it's, it's a King promotion, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. That's the promoter. Uh, and it's, uh, it, but it's still a good card. I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Travis Kaufman is going to be headlining it. Right. Uh, decent guy that's fighting. Um, and I think I'm co-main, if I'm not mistaken. So it's going to be a pretty good card, match. So you're well, at least from the co-main. And so you're happy to be back in the ring, right? Yeah, yeah. About that time. Yeah, because everyone's been saying, "Where Eddie, when are you going to get back in the ring? Yeah. It's, you know, it, honestly, the fights I was looking for and, and, and working with Peter, you know how difficult... Uh, uh, at the time, it was for us to get fights over in, uh, when I was in the UK yeah. just a little while back. And, um, you know, obviously me and Peter are still ex uh, extremely close friends, as well as Tyson and you and the whole bunch. Um, yeah. but, it, but just like, you know, and this is how you prove that. Um, they, uh, we were a contract, we had a contract uh, between us, but it was just more of us, you know, on handshake. And the way Peter looked at it was, look, we're just trying to help you get to where you need to go. And by signing with Al Heyman for, for, for me would have been, you know, was the thing that was going to probably get me the bigger fights. He understood that. It wasn't no bones about us, you know, coming back over to the States and fighting. Um, in fact, uh, he was still, you know, whenever I have the opportunity to come and train with him, you know, when the fights get to be a bit bigger, that's what I'm going to do. You know, I'm going to have my team here, obviously, but uh, still, I still very much am uh, with, uh, working with Team Fury. Okay. And the whole Al Heyman thing, have you seen the mystery man yet? Never, I haven't seen him yet. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, I, but I guess you know, it's from, you know how I am. I mean, I like to, um, I like to get things done first before I, you know, put myself into the into the big picture. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. not going to sit there and say, oh yeah, you know, I haven't really had any major fights recently, so I'm not going to say, you know, I deserve to be here, I deserve to be there. So I'm going to wait. I'll let Al show himself when he feels like things are things are at the right, you know, at the right place for me. So and that, that could be shoot, that could be one, maybe two fights. Maybe the next one after this. Who knows? Question. I mean, everyone sees it at the moment as Eddie Chambers being lined up to fight Deontay Wilder. That seems to be the sort of thing I'm sort of feeling. But how does that work out? Uh, Chambers, um, Chambers uh, Wilder's now fighting a guy that nobody heard of. Oh, I've never heard of him. So he defends against him. And then that must put Pavek in, a, in the mandatory position. So if he should beat Wilder, does that mean you have to go and fight Povetkin again? I wouldn't care, honestly. <laughs> who, would, who would be in that position? That would actually be a good fight, more uh, a very interesting fight. I mean, for me and uh, Alexander, uh, for the first time, uh, I'm, I was I was I was not prepared the way I could have been, especially for a championship level professional fight. And uh, you know, he took advantage of it down the stretch. I, but I felt like early on, I showed my my, my ability and my dominance over him as far as in the uh, skill category. I feel like I outclassed him in a lot of ways, but um, he hustled he, and he got the decision. But I think the rematch would make would be a lot more interesting because now the way I fight, the way the, my, my, my mentality for training and everything is at a different level. Not saying that I wasn't working hard back then. It was just we didn't have enough time and we kind of let things, uh, you know, get a little away from you know away from themselves and it just got just got tough. But with this this type of situation, if this happened now, I'm, I'm, I'm more dedicated, more focused, and I got 
uh, a goal in mind to get that world title and that, and as soon as possible. And I don't have forever to do it. I'm, I'm 33 right now, so I don't have plenty of time left anymore. You know I'm a straight shooter with you, and I will treat you no differently, even though I love you as my brother. I've got to ask you the question. Is this money motivated or is this glory motivated? What is it with Eddie Chambers? We talked before, and, and every young fighter has has that idea of being a world champion, having the lights and the, the, the confetti and all of that stuff, and being able to hold the belt and everybody adoring them, and that, that's great. And, when, and, if, and even when that happens, it's great. But there's so many champions that walk away from the sport broke with nothing to show for. Great fighters, great fighters, great the ones that you, you just couldn't believe that they couldn't have any money. You know what I mean? Even looking at Mike. Now, Mike, we're not going to say he doesn't have money. I don't I don't believe that one bit. But I'm going to say that he's still, from where he come from, being that $400 million man to now somewhat struggling with tax. Come on. Come on. That should never be a problem. So for me, it's not so much just money motivated, but it's, it's, it's for the rest of my life. When I retire from this sport, I'm going to be back. I'm not, well, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to be completely destroyed, but, you know, I'm going to have some bumps and bruises. And I want to make sure that I have some money in the bank in case I can't go out and get a nine to five and stand up and walk for you know, walk for hours on a hard concrete floor. You understand what I'm saying? Whatever whatever that may be. So, um, uh oh, are we being interrupted? No, we're not being interrupted. <laughs> it's cool. We're not being interrupted. <laughs> no, no. But um, what, what I'm trying to do is what I'm, what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to set myself up uh, for a future. So me and my family, I want to make sure that we have. Uh, a good life going down stretching and don't have to, you know, look for crazy work and, and to, to work a nine to five for the rest of our lives. I just don't, I feel like if I can get myself in position to, you know, to have a nice safe income, I'm happy with that. I'm not saying I wouldn't want to look, I would, I would love to be world champion. I would love to be, you know, that guy that everybody wants to say, oh, yeah, it's champ, we love you and all that. I would love that. But first thing, as far as I want to make, be able to take care of me and my family, you know, that, uh, for the rest of my life. And I have to worry about, you know, working so hard when I'm, you know, going into my 50s and 60s. I don't want that. Especially not after putting so much effort and being in the sport for nearly 20 years. Going back to America or being back in America, do you feel any resentment to the way people say the Americans have kind of like dismissed you or do you feel re-accepted back in America now? Well, it's, it's I don't feel, you know, dismissed. I mean, honestly, boxing is boxing. You know what I mean? So what have you done for me lately? Um, when I was uh, about to fight Vladimir Klitschko, I had uh, a send off party from where uh, the mayor of the, uh, of the city of Philadelphia came out and supported. They all loved me. They seemed like they were, you know, in my corner and blah, blah, blah. And don't get me wrong, all of those people, you know, they knew me at the time. You know, I was a, I was a, I was a big shot. I was, you know, I was going for the world title. But, it's, you know, as soon as you lose, you really see how, how things are. You know what I mean? People are gone. You don't, you don't hear from the same people. Those, those, all those people who were with you with the cameras and asking you questions and you know spending time. Even some of the women who loved you. You know, oh, I love you so much. And all of a sudden, now they're gone when things are down at a at a low point. And and I understand that. So it's very lonely. You know what I mean? So I, so I, like I said, I would love, love to be that. But mm -mm. if if I can make if 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 they off if I got a big a couple of big money fights. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm not saying I would just walk away from, you know, another one and another one. I would just make sure that I'm able, my mind is good. You know what I mean? My body's able to still still do it. You know what I mean? But And, 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 and once those things happen, you know, it's, it's, then I'll get in there and fight. And like I said, mostly it's money. I don't want to say it's money motivated, but it's that's a big, big part of it. Cool. But then but if, be, if you're money motivated... I, if you're money motivated, are you money motivated enough to sell out your career? See, there's a difference. Do you see? No, no. There is a there's a huge difference. But with me, when I say money motivated, it's only because I'm looking for when my career is over. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to have to do too much, too many extra things. You know what I mean? As I get older, you know what I mean? And I feel like I've been in this sport for a long time. Uh, I've done a lot of good things. I mean, some things not so good, but I've done a lot of good things. And I feel like I should be paid for that. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm putting my life on the line. I'm putting, you know, life in limo on the line, you know, so to speak, with, with a lot, especially with these big guys that I'm running into. Yeah. So, so like, if I can, if it, if it makes money, 
and, it, and it's, it's, a, it's a big fight and all that good stuff. All of the all of the stuff that comes with the big fights, you know, is great, especially especially the money at this point. And that's only because now look where I'm at. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm, if I go into a big fight with somebody right now, what do you think? Do I think I'm gonna be the A side or the B side of the fight? You be the B side at the moment. It's my point exactly. So I have a much bigger, a much, a much, much more of an uphill battle with yeah. anybody. And we're talking about decisions and all that. You know what I mean? And you're not, look, I'm not going to be given anything. No. To be honest with you, I've never been given anything in my career. I mean, I've, the, the, the closest I've been to, like, the house guy is fighting out of the Blue Horizon, you know, 17, 18 times. Yeah. That's it. Moving up to the big picture, I was almost always the B-side. Always the B-side. And I, it's fine with me. I don't mind. You know what I mean? Put me in, put me in there. Because I've won 85% of the time being the peace side. So I'll take that. And guess what? I've always, I'm, I'm a spoiler or a surprise guy because they look at me, I'm so small, and they don't expect it. But hey, you know what I mean? Keep doing it. Keep on um, underestimating. My, do you feel you've got what it takes in 2015 to be world class? I feel like this. I don't feel like any of my skills are eroded. I still have, um, I'm still, I still talk sound mind. I'm still clear. I still got to, still can think a little bit up here. <laughs> I'm not totally <laughs> stupid. And, uh, um, uh, yeah, I'm not, I don't want to say I'm, in, I'm not injury prone. I don't have any problems with limbs necessarily. I mean, obviously you get the odd injury and no fighters ever hundred percent when you get in there. But, um, I feel like I'm just as strong, just as agile, just as athletic as I've ever been. You know what I mean? It's got a few more years, and of course, each fight is going to hurt a little bit more, a little bit longer after. But um, it just makes you work that much harder. You got to stay in shape that much, much, much more often. And um, which doesn't, which doesn't bother me. I'm always in the gym anyway, so my body hasn't really aged. My diet isn't terrible. You understand what I'm saying? I don't, go, I don't eat fast food or. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I try to take care of myself. So. My longevity, and I turned professional at 18. I'm, uh, I've been a, I've been a professional nearly uh, what 15 years. You know what I mean. So, with that being said, all that time for me to still be able to talk to you like this and still perform the way I do, you know, in, in fights and sparring and, and, and being able to take well, not necessarily take the beatings because I don't take a lot of punishment. I try not to anyway. But um, that should tell you. That should that should give you an idea that I'm still, you know, able to fight at this level. Eddie, I just can't wait to see you get back in the ring. Take care, champ. Like you too, my man.